In this video, I want to explain why using just google.com instead of www.google.com is a bad idea. How about we jump into it? All right, guys, so Google is a secure website. That means it is hosted on HTTPS and anything between you and Google is encrypted. So no one in the middle, not even your ISPs, or even your VPNs can actually see what you're searching for, as long as there is a padlock there. And like other websites, an example of a website that doesn't have a padlock or doesn't use encrypting technologies or a TLS is example.com. This is not secure. That means anything between you and example.com is not secure. That being said, how does the browser know that when you go to google.com, to actually initiate an encrypted session. It needs to know prior that the website supports encryption, correct? And this is done through something called HSTS, and I have, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna reference a video that I made about HSTS list, which, which is a list in the browser that says, okay, uh, www.google.com is secure, so I'm gonna use encryption. Yahoo.com is secure, so I'm gonna use encryption all the time, right? Here's the thing www.google.com is in that list. So when you type that, automatically the browser will initiate a secure communication between you and the Google. And Google. However, if you type google.com in the browser, just like that, have you noticed in a, mid, of a fraction of a second, that communication wasn't secure? Let's actually zoom in and explain that a little bit. So if I go to the network and I type google.com and I hit enter, look at the first request that I made. Google.com is an HTTP protocol. That means it's not secure. So what happened here is the first request that I made, the browser made, it says, okay, google.com is I don't know that site, so I'm going to initiate by default an unencrypted website. That Because that's the web. The web is the web. We cannot break the web. So whatever has been working for the longest time, we get, the browsers have to maintain backward compatibility. So what it's doing is the first initial request is an unencrypted HTTP, which Google responds as, hey, we have moved. Where are you going? Google.com. There is nothing like that. Please go to www.google.com again, unencrypted. So the browser renavigated, redirected to www.google.com twice, by the way. And that's another unencrypted request, which now responded to the, uh, responded to the browser to, uh, by the way, yo, whoa, don't go there. Go please to HTTPS. And, and after that, the browser respected that and went to the HTTPS, which is the secure Google. Why, why I'm telling you this? Because of that first unencrypted request as a result of typing google.com instead of www.google.com, what happened is a man and the middle attack can be carried between you and Google because it's an encrypted, because that means people can see where you're going and they can easily reply back with a false website. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna simulate a man in the middle attack with a Node.js server as a proxy, as an HTTP unencrypted proxy. And how about we do that? So here's my code. My code is literally these few lines of code. I am listening on port 8080, and if there is a proxy request, and assume this is the man of the middle attack that is, I somehow captured this. I did an R poisoning on you on, on Starbucks and managed to know that you're going to google.com, and I responded instead to go to my website, which if I go to my website, hnasr.github.io, it is an exact copy of Google. I just copied the source code and, and pasted it. So how about we actually test that? I'm gonna run my server here. It's listening on port 8080. And what I'm gonna do is gonna go to my Wi-Fi, change my proxy settings, and go to my advanced and proxies, web, and assign it so that it it also forward all the requests to 8080, which is the server I'm listening to. And that's kind of simulate the man in the middle. So my proxy is the man in the middle in this case. All right, 
I opened a brand new incognito mode. What I want to do is go to google.com and literally hit enter. And look at that. I have been forwarded to my fake phishing website. So this page looks exactly to you. So if you don't pay attention to what's going on here, someone just can can get your information. All right, so that was Chrome. And I was able to reproduce it with the latest version of Firefox as well. Just by typing google.com and hit enter, I am automatically redirected to my website. That only happened because the first ever request was unencrypted. And that's because you visited google.com instead of www.google.com. So if I try www.google.com, you will see that the site immediately works and I'm going to actually google.com and why this happened? That happened because www.google.com is in the HSTS list. So the first communication was actually a secure 443 communication to the to the HTTPS scheme and that obviously bypassed my proxy because my proxy is an HTTP proxy which is the same thing as the middle and the man in the middle the man in the middle attack they cannot see the encrypted stuff they can only see unencrypted stuff and just like my proxy so to be all clear I have submitted this bug back March 30th and has been closed as a known issue and uh, the response was basically because the, exactly what as I told you, the www.google.com is not in the HSTS list. It's not a preloaded. Uh, it's not a preloaded HSTS preloaded, and this is a, like a known issue. So one fix to this possible is for Google to actually advertises google.com as a potential HSTS uh, encryption in the HTTPS HTS list so the browsers can update their databases. I'm gonna reference this uh, URL, it's closed now, but maybe this video will gonna do something and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a fix. As of today, April 13th, 2020, this is a bug in almost all browsers. I tried Firefox and uh, Google Chrome, but I think it's also on Safari. I'm using the latest Chrome version 81 and Firefox 75, I believe, or 76. All right, guys. That's it for me. It was a quick video to show you that you shouldn't really use google.com. Try using www.google.com or even just rely on just typing your search right here. Like for example, uh, apple pie recipe. Do this. This is more secure than actually going to google.com because that search uses the preloaded search engine in your browser, which hopefully it is by default stored as an HTTPS. All right, guys. That's it for me today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Check out the other content in this channel. I always talk about uh, security stuff, backend engineering, and some other cool stuff. Check it out. Stay safe out there.